YouTube. I am the fat guy, and I'm here with another video for you. Like I said, I was going to upload two videos today, and this one will go into my unboxing part of my channel, and it's the other package I got in the mail today. And, uh, uh, yeah, if you look at my channel, you'll notice I have a section called the fat guy's random unboxing slash mail calls. This used to be my unboxing section where I just added it to my new channel section and just combined them. So you guys can see my newest video, which was from the other day, all the way down to my older stuff from 2014. Sorry about that. And then I decided to, you know, try to keep up on my channel. I'm looking through my channel right now and looking at some of the stuff I can do for you guys. The game channel, the game corner is definitely going to be up. Dollar Tree hauls are probably going to go up because I got something in the mail today. Not this. Uh, long story short, the guy who drops off my mail knocked at my door at like 1 o'clock when I was trying to sleep. I got up. I picked up my packages. And I went right. I didn't go right to bed. I put the majority of them down, but I... They opened one up before I got to this video, which I'll show you what I got in it, but I can't unbox it because it's already here. And, uh, yeah, that will probably be with for the uh, Dollar Tree haul. will be helping me getting some frames for those, but I'll show you what happens. But for now, let's start on with the unboxing with my skull knife. And I did order a couple more knives off of the eBay for very, very cheap. So you guys might be seeing some different knives other than this and the... Uh, Batman. So it looks like this guy tied up down some plastic on it. So I'm just going to cut that off right quick and unwrap. Uh, I, and this is pretty packed in here, so I've got to be careful. So I'm going to just. Ow. No, I didn't cut myself. Thank God. That would suck. Okay. I found some paper. I'm trying to be careful with this. Because this does have, it does have bubble wrap in there, but it also has a box in here. And you know cardboard doesn't do well with knives. Uh, he gave me a little piece of the paper. Uh, this is a thank you for your purchase. Either I cut it up or he did. Yeah, just a few little pieces of paper for a discount and uh, to go to a site. So let's cut this open and see how well this guy did. I bought from this guy a long time ago, but I've not bought from him recently. And then I just refound him on eBay, and I decided to try him again. And uh, as you can tell, he did a really good job so far. It looks like there's a cardboard box in there wrapped in bubble wrap and it's a little harder to get this out because he also used a ton of tape and it's not that cheap quality tape either it's nice shipping tape so let's get the box out there's the box so that's the side now he also used a lot of tape on this as well but i think if i just cut right here it'll be okay i want to do that again and again, just to completely make sure I get a hole. And then I'm going to open it up. And it looks like he did do a good package on Because not only did he put bubble wrap, he put enough bubble wrap in the hole to pack it down. So, yeah, there's some bubble wrap. I could probably reuse that later. Now, I'm just going to pop this off because I don't want to damage the box. But this one's easy. It looks like if I just cut it here, I'm done. Now, this would be a lot, this is a lot easier than the rest of the packaging. And here's my figure. Well, it's not a figure yet. Uh, you know, the classic random boxes that you get. This is from the Konami series of uh, weird weaponized cat girls. And I bought one of these from the buyer for uh, 99 cents with free shipping, which is pretty good. Because it costs him more than a dollar to ship it over here. But the issue is, he only allows you to buy one item for every 10 days. So let's open this up right quick. But yeah, it's brand new, a 99 cent bed. Got a couple more coming over here. It took two weeks to get here from China. 
Okay, hold on. Okay, it included a little bit of instructions. Very, very tiny instructions, but very simple. Okay, that's not even the instructions for this figure. I think it's just a generalized figure instructions. And then here's the anime figure I got in the mail. I know it looks like a bunch of random pieces, and it kind of is. But uh, let me see if I can show you what she looks like on the side. She's the one that's circled. She's supposed to be holding uh, your little rocket thing right there. And then it also gave me some cardboard and some legs. And that's why I never got about this series of car, uh, things. You know, I got the rest of the pieces, but then I get these, like, legs in here that doesn't look like they go to this figure, and I still got her base. She's a simple black base that goes to her feet. So let's get her out right quick, and let's quickly just put her together. You know, it's going to be kind of fun. Let's just slit these open. And this is a really good packing job for anime figures. Uh, each piece is in their own little... Uh, semi-vacuumed area so that they don't bump into each other, they don't grind, they won't lose paint. You know, it's pretty nice and I like it. So yeah, let's pull most of the stuff out I need. I, I, I don't know if I need this other piece right here, but put that to the side if I do. So I may need these. I don't know yet. Right. Let me look at her image. All right. It just looks like it's going to be simple, plug and play. You attach the uh, body piece to the base piece. I'm going to attach her to her stand right quick. And I'm going to try to show you this uh, as much as I can. Uh, it looks like some of the holes weren't cut. Oh, man, yeah, they're cut all right. She's pretty. Then there's this piece that you're supposed to, like, stick in between these. Oh, it's like a little ship. And you're not missing much with me just doing this. Um, but it also has two little feet here for some reason. That's what she's supposed to look like. And there's two holes. So, yeah, I think I know what those are for. Hold on. I think I do need these little clear pieces right quick. Now let's open this little package. I'm going to be careful because I don't want to cut what's in here. The propellers. One propeller. Second propeller. And then... I only got one clear stick. I don't know if I lost one or if it never came out. Let me check the bag right quick. No, it never came out. So, yeah, it seems like this last bit is just random. I, I really don't know. So let's put these in right quick. Um, is that supposed to come out? No. So let's put the uh, sticks in. Okay, that makes no sense. Why are they that short? Maybe. Uh, I think I know why. Hold on. Put that there. Put that here. Okay, the back one doesn't seem to want to... Am I supposed to bend her over or something? No. Nope. Now let's put on the propellers.
I know, it must be fun to watch me play around with this. Let me put this back on. Let's put this on. Huh. Probably seem a bit too small. But they're supposed to go on right behind, so it looks like you're supposed to put these on like right behind it, take off the end and it's right here, but the holes are too small for that for some weird reason. I guess the build quality ain't that great compared to some of the other figures I've got. So I'm just going to play with, or not play with her, but I'm going to put her on without it, and then I'm going to move her over a little bit because it looks like she's falling off. Uh oh, that popped out. One sec. Huh. It does seem like they under they shot this a little too short because uh you see one if I try to stretch I'll just pull it off. So let's try to see what happens when I do this again. Pull it off one and let her have like this. And then uh, put the thing on there. But none of these figures show her actually uh, holding it with the little invisible things on there. So maybe these are just extras? I, I don't know. And let's put her back on. And yeah, she doesn't look too bad. She'll be uh, added to my other small collection of figures right on top of my desk. And then I uh, will put everything back in the thing, and I'll show you the other thing I got. Sorry that took a little bit, but I love getting these anime figures because in America, especially around where I live, it's kind of hard to get them for cheap. And uh, that's why I buy most of mine online. And... Uh, and, um, you know, 99 cent ship from China, pretty good deal. Uh, let me get a drink of water. And she'll look great up there with the others. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six minifigures like her, uh, some a little bit shorter, and then one decent sized one. Uh, you know, I got the Oriemo Sega uh, one just recently from the mail in one of my unboxings I showed you. But, uh, yeah, that was that. And then let's show off the other thing I opened up earlier. And this is what will help me with the Dollar Tree hauls because uh, I'm going to have to put these in uh, frames just to keep them safe. But they're on cardboard. And these are, ga you know uh, how Japan has gashapons? It's similar to our, like, quarter machines where you just get, like, a little toy or something. Well, they have it where they get anime figures once in a while, you know, mini anime figures. And so from a guy online, I bought some Gashapon uh, machine posters. And these go on the front to show you what you get or what you could get, you know, how it works. And I picked up a few to frame and keep in here. This one's from the Guilty Gear series, which is pretty cool. Then I got one for the... Uh, um, Okay, I know it sounds dumb that I can't remember this, but this is an older one that I need to go look up right quick on my eBay. Uh, oh, Evangeline. Apparently, they say it was from Evangeline, but it shows the figures on the side with the two of the middle. And then uh, this one's just random, just anime-styled uh, pervy photos, but I still got it because, you know, look great frames. And it's a G-Taste Gashapon figures. And uh, that's the only one not related to any other anime or series. And, you know, these will need an 8x10 frame, and I'll have to go get three of them. That's why I'm going to go to Dollar Tree, because they're cheap. Um, you know, it's costing $3, frame them, you know, 15 bucks, and I'll put those around the house, keep them organized. It'll be nice. It'll be perfect. It will be awesome for the fat guy here. And I know I may look like a weird geek to you all, but I do like anime. I do like gaming. I do like Daily Extreme. I do like... Dollar Tree. Everything I have up on my channel is about me and what I like to do. And that's why I call it random vids. You know, I'm just a random guy who likes different things. And a lot of people really like a lot of the things I do, which is great. 
brings us all together here on YouTube. But yeah, like I said, this is the fat guy, and I'm out of here for now. I hope everybody liked this video. Sorry, it ran a little bit long. I wasn't expecting to put together an anime figure, but we'll see what happens next time. I am the fat guy, and I am out of here.